Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne and um, today we're going to do an unboxing. I'm also going to talk about something that is uh, very important to me as well as it's my fiance's birthday today and he's at work right now so um, I'm going to do an unboxing that, uh, of some stuff that I got from Kelly or Makeup Mama. Stuff I paid for. And while I do that, I'm going to talk to you guys about something. Uh, today is November 2nd. It is Wear Orange Day for people with CRPS or RSD is what it was used to be known as. If you don't know what CRPS is, I will go over some of it with you t today. I'm not going to go over it all with you because it is such like a wealth. Like it's huge and it's massive. Um, but I do suffer from it. Um, I know some of you may have heard me talk about <clears throat> a fall I took over the weekend. Um, and you're thinking, oh, well, you're young, you're, you'll be fine. Well, here's the thing is, is that I actually fell on my right arm. It does hurt a little bit. Um, like I landed on my feet and I had my arm out. I am usually really, really, really good about not using this arm because of my CRPS. And yeah, so it's, so I took yesterday off and I just kind of laid around. I was slightly hungover from drinking on Halloween. But. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna go through this and go through with um, my CRPS and what it is and how it affects my life. And what I will wear orange until I go to work and then I will wear my uniform. Um, so anyway, I wanted to get, show you guys this. I got this cute little bag and in it had these brushes. I already went through the box. I got it like Friday. So I got the brushes, they're right here. You guys know that I absolutely love IT Cosmetics. They're one of my favorite brands. The brushes are like superb. Um, I just noticed that it's got a few bendy ones probably from the way that uh, the thing was on. I wanted to show you guys this though. Look, it says on here that, um, what does this one say? All over, so you pull it down and then you pull it up and this will be your crease, and then you pull it up and this will be your smudge. That's so cool. Okay. Um, so, I got one thing in here that I cannot show you because it is not mine, it is a gift for somebody and I don't want them to see. Guys, I got this 35C Everyday Chic, 35 shares to wear on the daily, take your look from daytime to night, day night with this palette and style, stylish, uh, I don't know what it says. I threw the box on the ground now. So I already have the 35, no, the X and O's. So I think these shades are probably very similar to them. They have a couple of beautiful greens. I've not really worn these kind of greens before, so I might have to dig into that. Um, it is so beautiful. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the palette I'm gonna to wear today, because as you will see, I have a couple palettes in here. I don't wanna to go to the next one. I was really hoping to get this palette. Um, oh, it has a full size liner in size. Sides. Con oh, that's a French version. I saw this and I really, really wanted it, and I feel like it's like the mini palettes are, yeah. But, and I sold the mini palettes. So it's a very chunky lid. I'm gonna take out the eyeliner, show you the colors. I'm not sure if I'll use this one. I really like this purple here at the end. So it has the colors on the back. Okay, so I also got this one, guys. I could not pass it up. It's Hip Dot SpongeBob Bikini Bottom palette so there are the colors there they're kind of really really well they are very beautiful I couldn't say no to this because I yeah the blue lagoon in meow 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 I love how this comes out okay so there is three so I think I have one more okay so do I still have scissors over here? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm going to have these stupid 
things all over the place again. So, so I decided to grab the other set of um, the Pat McGrath mini palette. So I have that, um, and then, and like I can't remember exactly what I paid for all of these items. I just know that I spent a lot of money. So a lot of them, uh, she was just you know selling to. So I got them at retail or below retail. So she included this one. Oh, it's so pretty. So maybe I'll wear that one today. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll look for a nice orange one. Okay, so I also had to get these. I don't have very many eyeliners, so I wanted to have one with all the different colors. Um, there's some pinks, there's some green, there's, I think that looks like a blue metallic, very much does. Um, orange kind of looks metallic, or yellow. So yeah, all the different colors. I'm gonna actually take them out because I don't want the box. Do you not want the box? I do have a spot for them. I think I'm gonna have to move some stuff. Okay guys, I'll have to put them in after I talk to you guys. Okay, so, oh. So I actually am not gonna use this today. Oddly enough, I do wanna use my Natasha Denona foundation and concealer um I have to make sure that thing stays in there okay so this is the radiant touch magic wand um could almost do a whole face now in it cosmetics so that'll be like a concealer which is really nice okay so i got this laying comb with the instruction. So this is Nourishing Lip Balm. I might have to like put that in my lunch bag so I can use it at work. Um, I got this Matte Revolution in Pillow Talk. I actually don't think I had got this color in the three colors I got so I'm excited to try that. It is super tiny so um, it was probably super expensive for me. Oh, okay, what else do I have in here, guys? Like, seriously, what did I buy? She put it in this huge box, and it was stuffed. Stuffed. Like, huge. Okay. So, I got Jeffree Star's Calabas lip liner. Oh. Okay, gonna be a jerky jerk. Okay, so I kind of want to try this out today, though. Maybe I'll try out that pillow talk as well. There we go. Look at that. It's a beautiful color. I'm excited for that. Um, I got this Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics because I've almost done my other one. And... Yep, it's full size, so yay. I will be using that. I also bought Jeffree Star's lip scrub in root beer because, yeah, you can never have too many of them. Um, I'm going to keep that wrapped up right now because uh, I am getting my mystery box and that's coming tomorrow, so I'm like, super excited about that. I did grab this tiny, tiny, tiny thing. Um, it's 
So I do have the, like just this, um, the skin tint. So I thought I'd grab this to try with it. So I'm gonna put those two together. Uh, I got Pat McGrath lippies. Again, what is with this? This is not Lux putting I only have like a really small garbage can beside me because I thought that's all I would need and no. So after this, I'm going to do my makeup really, really quickly because yeah. It's already 10 minutes just trying to show you what I got in my box. Oh. Okay, so. Put all my boxes in my box okay so this is a lip balm which I do already have um, I wanted to see these oh well, that's a lot nicer than the ones I got oh those are so pretty so I will give those a try out when I probably use my next Pat McGrath um, yeah okay guys Oh, and I also got Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless M Complexion Perfecting Microfine Powder. So maybe I'll give that a try today. The fact that it comes with the world's tiniest mirror. Okay, whatever, Charlotte Tilbury. I mean... I want to rip people off. Go right ahead. Anyway, I'm going to look for a nice orange. Does Hip Dot have something in orange in here? Does it? Does it? No, it kind of has yellow. It has yellow. Okay. Now the Smashbox has something in orange. Nope, not really. Okay, fine. Fine. Put that over there. Let's see what 35C chic it does not have anything in orange okay that's okay Is the box for that? okay so does this now I would not. there's something in gold maybe I'll give this a go My new palettes in here. I don't know which ones I need to try. Okay, so we are going to use my new brushes today. We are going to use as much as the new stuff as I can use. And I'm going to put up my small. Okay, so I'm going to use my e.l.f. I think this is the matte poreless primer. All right, so I want to tell you guys about my CRPS. Okay, so about in 2000 and, was it 2013? 2014. It's 2014 because I've been living in the house a year. Okay, so I moved to Palmerston to start a new life and I was doing, you know, just got on days. Fast forward a year, almost, and I had a new puppy at the time. Her name was Daisy. Man, I love that dog. So anyway, I had Daisy, yeah. and one day I was, my arms were hurting all the time because the job I had was very, very physically demanding. So, I mean, I did spend a lot of time Ooh, this is French French Boutique blush. It's exciting. Okay, so so anyway, I'm upset because these parts weren't painting properly, and I go into the robot room. I change out the the nozzles, and as I'm leaving, push open the door. Probably harder than I should have, but I mean, it was a heavy, heavy door. And I went to step clear of it, and I went to reach back into my pocket because it is a paint door. So it has to be locked to make sure that nobody is in there, and it's a safety precaution. 
So I went to reach back into my paint suit pocket and grab it with the key. And as I was doing that, the door was shutting and it hit me right in the elbow. I, <laughs> I was in a lot of pain right away. And I sat down and I just sat there for a few minutes. And I just was like, oh my gosh, this hurts. And anyway, they asked me if I wanted to go to the doctor. And I made the mistake of saying no because I was over my amount of sick days. Well, by the way, this is a good piece of information. If you hurt yourself at work and you don't have any more sick days, you can still go to the doctor. It doesn't count as a sick day. So anyway... I didn't. I thought it was fine. Um, this happened on my son's birthday. Was it the day before my son's birthday? I think the 21st or the 23rd. I can't exactly remember now, but it was in November. It was at the end of November. So um, anyway, I d didn't want to go to the doctor, so I didn't. I instead thought I'd be okay. I made the mistake of trusting that my supervisor wouldn't, you know, would let me take it a little bit easier the next day because my elbow had swollen up, but it, like, it was, it was sore, but, I mean, it wasn't anything that I couldn't work through, right, or so I thought. So, anyway, I went in the next day, and he had me down at the bottom instead of painting, and I had to use my elbow a lot. Like, I was doing, like, 800 pieces an hour, so, I mean, I'm constantly moving my arm. And finally, at the end of the, the day, I'm like, I can't do this. So I went home, and I was at the hospital. Or I was at home, and I was like, I can't do this. I really can't do this. So I ended up going to the hospital. I love this brush. Already. Okay. Went to the hospital. I was swollen. They wrote me a thing saying I couldn't do this, couldn't do that. So I didn't. You know, take it easy, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no big deal, you know, get into my doctor, go to see her, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't remember it getting worse, I just remember it being worse. Like, I'm thinking, this is not normal. This is not, this can't be normal. Like, something's going on. Um, I went to my doctor, and she's like, no, this isn't really normal, um, Something else must be going on. And I'm like, yeah. And so dealing with WSAB and everything, it was hard. Um, so, you know, she sent me to a specialist. They sent me to a specialist. Uh, I went to get my nerve tested in my arm. He said that was fine. I didn't believe him. He's like, maybe you bruised the bone. Let's send you for a bone density scan. So I did that. Um, they did x-rays. They did blood work, nothing was showing up, nothing. And I mean, it got so bad that I couldn't even wear a sweater. I couldn't have anything touch it. Um, I was never not want, like not once prescribed any opioids because this was nerve pain. We knew it was nerve pain, so opioids won't do anything. Um, nerve pain is very different than muscular and um, any other kind of pain like that. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so, of course, that didn't work. Um, I was put on Lyrica, and I think I was, was spent two days on Lyrica, and I was taken off pretty quick because uh, it made me very, very, very... wasn't very good for me so okay so yeah so then I was put on another product and another product and another product and then after 18 months my doctor says to me I think I figured it out and I was like really and she goes yes it's CRPS so I looked it up and I cried and she's like I need you to look up support groups because I don't know a whole lot about this there's still not a whole lot to, to know about this and I was like okay so I did and I mean it's pretty devastating um, 
there was a show that came out and it was his his this rapper or singer or star his mother had it okay guys sorry about that um i guess her show stopped and Okay, so anyway, the uh, guy was um, doing a video for his mom to bring awareness to um, his mom. This is really gorgeous. Okay, so, what is this one? All over, yeah. Um, wonder. Yeah, so his mom was trying to find um, ways of healing herself and whatnot, and they were doing this journey together, and so they decided to try ketamine. Well, as we all know, ketamine is a very, 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 very hard drug. Um, it's not something that uh, you want to try unless you absolutely have nowhere else to go. So anyway, um, she went and she tried it and it did not take for her, unfortunately. So, um, I was like, yeah, that's kind of scary. Like, so what it does is they try to shut down the brain and try to bring it back and reset it basically like it's a hard reset for the brain and at that time I was nowhere near needing that thankfully so um, they I was lucky enough that uh, Um, yeah. but it made me cry because I thought my whole life was done I wasn't going to be able to do a whole lot I had a hard time doing the dishes folding laundry all those things I could not do anymore on a daily basis so yeah um, through trial and error I've gotten back my life um, I'm able to do laundry when I want to. Let's face it, no one wants to. I mean, I'm sure somebody likes folding laundry and gets the, yeah. So, along the way, it caused a lot of stress. I lost a lot of friends. I lost family. Um... People don't believe you, which really is a sad thing. Because this is the time when you really, really need your family, and you really need them to understand that this isn't the life you want. And it's not a life that anybody deserves. So... I find it funny, I kind of did like a reverse, I've got like the non shimmer shades. Wow. I was not expecting that. Holy. I'm going to take this red. Okay, so, yes. I lost a lot of family. I lost a lot of friends. I also gained some important friends. I prevailed. I had a lot of people at work that didn't believe me. And you know what? I wasn't there to, to sit there and babysit them and let them know, yeah, this is hard for me. I worked my way through it. I had a few people that were... By my side at all times. 
And then a few later on that realized that, you know, that I wasn't faking it. Um, I did hide a lot of it from some people. Like, at some point, I just stopped. And they would look at me and they'd be like, is something wrong? And I'd be like, yeah, my arm hurts. Well, aren't you over that? No, I'll never will be. Well, what do you mean? Well, I'll always have it. Yeah. That was kind of hard. So there's some things that I don't do, some things that I honestly cannot fathom doing. Um, I do have some weakness. I do have some... Uh, I don't like writing letters. If I start writing one, the first six lines are really nice, and then after that, crap. I drive with my left hand for the most part. I have issues squeezing. Like, all of the muscles in here tend to hurt when I squeeze, and at work I do have to, like, squeeze rags at the end of the night. And yeah. Well, you don't have to, but I do. So, yeah. Um, it's a daily battle. Uh, it can jump from limb to limb. It can... Um, it can happen with any trauma. It's been around since they figure the Civil War, which for us, I have no idea when the Civil War really was because, you know, I'm not an American. Um, they figured that it was soldiers that uh, had it and they didn't know what it was and they didn't know how to treat it. And yeah, so it's not something that anybody wants to have and it's not something I would definitely wish upon anybody and it's definitely one of those things that you don't know about until it hits home And it's something that when somebody does have it, they won't tell you. They won't tell you that it's bothering them. And if they do, they're not looking for sympathy. They're just there to vent the words. Because what this monster does to your body, is like, um, it can... The symptoms are just atrocious. Like, they say this is one of the highest pain pain-related diseases that you can get, and, I mean, you get muscle fatigue, you get, um, I could use my A Cosmetics blush here, nope, that's my e.l.f., that is not it, Cosmetics, um, your skin turns red, your hand swells, um, never is the same way twice. It's just crazy. Um, love these brushes. Uh, another thing is, is that, like, it can change your fingernails. It can cause them to grow really quickly or not. It can, um... Oh, it's just, I still find my arm very sensitive, so sometimes I'll have my arm, like, my, this is one of my favorite sweaters because I can pull it down. I find that the cuff, or sitting right here, can aggravate, and as you guys will notice, I wear my watch and any jewelry on my left hand. I cannot have it on my right. Um... I wear rings, but I don't often wear them on my right hand. I do focus more on my left. Um, I'm going to use my Laura Geller Lash Primer. It's 
So this can go into your leg. It can can um, it, it can move and it has moved. Um, if it gets into your organs, it can be very deadly. Um, there's no no um, straight lace treatment. Opioids will not help. They will not do anything for you. Um, now I do have a really bad shoulder to begin with, and um, it's partly I think because of this. I think that at one point some of this might have moved up into my shoulder, the back of my shoulder, and I might have gotten it in there. Um, I'm still playing around with this look, I know. You guys are like, stop. Uh, what is, um, so yeah, I'm on two different medications right now to, um, to kind of control it. Uh, I have depression from it. I have anxiety already. I mean, it's not like I had I had anxiety before this, but I mean, this does not help at all. It is what it is. I try not to think of my losses. I also think of all the strength I've gained, um, the confidence I have gained, the people I have met. I have a great community that I am part of. I have a doctor that understands that my pain is real, very much real. And she looks for organic ways for me to you know, kind of deal with it, which is really nice, speaking of which. So one of the things that I thought was really scary when I first had this and I didn't know what could happen was that um, it feels like I don't have any skin on my arm and it feels like the bone is sticking out. It's like, whoa. Uh, I will tell you that um, I curled my lashes beforehand and they look so good. Okay, so I want to do, I didn't actually buy me lipstick, so I'm going to do the Calabas. Um, okay, before I forget, um, there is somebody that said, and these are the words that they used, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so me. So if, if you want to feel what a CRPS patient feels, imagine draining all the blood in your arm and filling it up with lighter fluid and setting on fire and then encasing your arm in ice and then wrapping it with barbed wire it feels cold it feels hot it feels oh it's uh... It is the scariest, scariest, scariest feeling I've ever had. So yeah, I used the Pat McGrath, but I want to try this Pillow Talk lipstick because yeah, it looks really, really nice. This is super pretty. I and it goes with the the calabash. Um, color. Uh, la, 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 la. Oh man. Make my arm 
arms like, huh, you were talking about me being sore, so here I'm going to be sore. And it is sore. Okay, so I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to just pick this big bang one. Kind of gold. I don't need anything too fancy today, but I kind of want to just... Okay guys, um, <laughs> I do have to work today, so I'm sure I'll get the, quite the few glitzes and glares um, with this look, but I hate when that happens. Okay, so I don't have very long on my memory card, so I gotta go and erase it, but I know if you guys have sat through this all, please know that I, I appreciate it. Like. You have no idea. It's very hard. It's not something I can talk about a lot, but um, when I do, I, I do tend to open up quite a bit. I don't know, what do you guys think? Kind of looks like fire <laughs> to, to make me feel like I'm on fire. Um, so yeah, um, I use the red under eyeliner. It looks really good, I think, in person. Okay, guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, if you can, um, there are a couple CRPS me like little pamphlets of information. Um, if you're a friend of mine, you'll see that I do share that stuff on my page. If you want to go ahead and share it, because somebody else who, who could be affected by it and not know it, because it, it's really hard to be diagnosed with it. Um, like I waited 18 months and I had most, if not all of the symptoms of it. Um, my arm was red. It was angry. Um, the other thing is, is that it's pain that is worse over time and is not the pain that you would get with the level of injury. My injury, the first couple of days were a little bit of pain, but this pain became so life consuming. It was horrible. It was just a pain that I will never, ever, ever, ever forget. I will never forget it. Um, so anyway, yeah. So, I mean, go ahead, share those. Let people know that, you know, they're not alone. If you can, you know, try to wear your little bit of orange. I'd be gratefully um, appreciative of that. And guys, just have a good day. And I hope to see you s tomorrow. Tomorrow I will have my Jeffree Star surprise. I am so excited. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, share, and make sure you're subscribed.